Thank you, Jane, and thank you for the Seashell Foundation. It's been a wonderful opportunity to come and share with you the programs that I've been involved with. I started with um, Self Management BC in 2006 as a volunteer leader. And the reason why I just fell in love with the program is because what I saw it doing in my health. I myself have chronic health conditions, and um, at 11 years old, I was uh, diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis and was not, you know, given a very good prognosis that I would probably be in a wheelchair. Well, I'm not in a wheelchair, and um, then I grew, but do have arthritis, and it's one of the chronic conditions that I live with now. Um, the programs that we offer to the public is supported by the Ministry of Health, so we're funded to give these programs free to anybody who's interested. Whether you have a chronic condition or whether you know of somebody with a chronic condition, whether it be a spouse, a significant other, you're more than welcome to register for any of our workshops. The workshops that uh, we have now, it started with chronic conditions. And those, that workshop uh, included everything, nothing specific. And we are now delivering it in English, Punjabi, Chinese, and the indigenous communities all through BC. Um, from the research that we did, it came back that there was a lot of people interested in diabetes. So now we added diabetes program, and that's also delivered throughout BC in English, Chinese, and Punjabi. Um, one of the things that we noticed from um, the feedback from our research was that some people have difficulty leaving the house. It's not easy to be at an appointment sometimes. Sometimes it's not easy to get out into a community that's quite far away. So we have an online program that people can actually register online and do the same program that they would do if they were in person. So that's another option that we offer to people. Um, and from that, chronic pain. Chronic pain was... I hate to say this, but our best seller, um, everybody could relate with pain. Um, you know, like Tora said, aging is a disease, it's, it's a chronic condition. Aging is a chronic condition for sure. And chronic pain sometimes um, was a result of, you know, stiffness and tight wrinkles. And <laughs> um, one of our newer programs that um, we've developed with Stanford University is Cancer Thriving and Surviving. I was trained in um, that program to lead it, and it was one of the richest experiences that I've ever had in my life, where people were looking at the ends of their life, and this is what they thought, but by the end of the program, they were saying, I'm not living, I'm not dying with cancer, I'm living with cancer. And that was so rich to hear them turn their perception around. I myself had cancer in 1990, and was not also, again, given not a good prognosis, but I managed with some of the skills that I've learned um, with these programs to, to work with it and to live with it and to carry on. So um, what is the difference? Acute um, health condition is something like you've fallen, you've hurt, you hurt your arm, you've broke your arm, you've gone to the doctor. Uh, the doctor can say, okay, I'm going to put a cast on, and you follow instructions. With chronic conditions, there is no cure, there is no, quite often we have to learn different ways to move, to, um, to just function. So um, with chronic conditions, what happens is instead of just listening to what doctors or your healthcare professionals have to prescribe, which is they're great in, in their advice, and in their techniques of putting us back together and all that. But with chronic conditions, we need to look at the relationship with our healthcare professionals a little bit differently. We're, we become a part of the team. We need to be responsible that when we make the appointments, that we go prepared, um, that we bring lists of concerns or what has been happening, or if you have a question about um, any of your medication that you possibly get in touch with your pharmacist, or you build a healing team when you have a chronic condition. And in our programs, we really help people support that and build that 
um, team. So uh, some of the common uh, chronic conditions I'd mentioned already, uh, diabetes, arthritis. Um, but what we found, one of the first questions that we asked was, what does this chronic condition mean to you? And the list went on and on and on about isolation, fear of the future, um, despair, um, tired of you know what the future may bring. Medication has so many side effects. There was so many conditions, and fatigue was one. And and we just kept checking difficult em emotions, difficult communicating with partners, uh, with friends. Uh, if you were employed, now sometimes you know your work is not valid anymore. You can't get yourself to work, and so there's financial concerns. And so that was the first session, and we built from there. And then in the sixth session, we asked the same question, what does this chronic condition mean to you? And it's an amazing the difference in lists. And then after they've answered it, the sixth week, they're like, there is hope. We can do this. Um, I'm going to ask a friend to help. And the list went on. It was so positive. So then we brought out the list, and everybody was just wanting to celebrate the change that happened in six weeks. Our workshops go for six weeks, once a day, for two and a half hours. They're um, led by trained peer leaders. Uh, the peer leaders, um, we train them for four days of training, and they're uh, matched up. So two leaders at a time come into the workshop, and there's a lot of support for them when they get going. And um, so they lead the programs. The programs um, have about 16 participants, and we need a minimum of eight to run the program. So one of the things that we ask our participants is um, to really be open to taking on the role of being healthcare partner with their with their um, team. And what happens is that in doing that, building that relationship, their communication skills, um, we talk about problem solving, we talk about decision making. Every week we make a little action plan so that their confidence is built. Um, I know, you know, sometimes people will come and say, well, my action plan is I want to lose 30 pounds, but you only have one week to do it, and it's not an action. <laughs> so we, we help them break it down, because it's so overwhelming to lose 30 pounds in one week. I've tried. It doesn't work. <laughs> and so um, what happens when they come back is that, hey, I ate more vegetables this week, and they feel good, so their confidence is, is encouraged. They're making better choices, and so it starts like that, and it just gets better. What happened after um, many, many, many sessions of research, um, what comes back is, now what? So from the now what, um, my boss, Dr. Patrick McGowan, um, has built this healthcare um, health coach program. So what happens, and you don't have to wait till after the program, you can ask to become part of the program now, either be trained as a coach or be a participant. And what happens is you're matched up with a health coach or a participant for up to six months where you get that phone call once a week. How are you doing? Help you problem solve, help you make decisions, whatever might be going on in your life. You can't get to an appointment, you've been discouraged. You've got that one person that's going to continue helping you build those skills that you would in the workshops. So we're really, really proud and very, very happy about that program. What happened um, at our last staff meeting, I was just floor. Dr. Patrick McGowan said, we're going to have 300 matches by the end of the year. And so we were thinking, wow, that's a lot. And this has only been the first quarter, and we have, oh gosh, almost 200 matches. So it's like, wow, we still have a whole year to go. So we're doing really well with the programs. And so I would really like to offer them more and more to the coast. I have um, three workshops already set out, thanks to the hospital has given us some space that we can do it in the boardroom, which is great. 
So you can sign up if you're interested in becoming a participant or, or a coach or a leader. When we have a chronic condition, we spend 12 hours a year with our, with our healthcare professional. Those 364 and a half days, we're ourselves. And so these programs help you manage those 364 days, which is, when I read that, I thought, wow, that's really important because honestly, the medical system is great. It's only got a lot of, little bit of time to spend with you. And the doctors that we've met and talked to really appreciate the participants that come prepared, share what it is that they want to know, where, what goals they want to make, because it just helps make that 12 minutes or 15 minutes, whatever time they have with you, much more productive. So we, get, we are getting more and more uh, referrals from um, the doctors, so that's exciting. So I think that's about all that I wanted to share. Oh, some of the things um, also that um, I just wanted to do a little run through of what are some of the things we talked about problem solving communication skills, but one of the biggest things that um, we do with our participants is the connection of uh, mind and body. And we do a little exercise, and if you would like to do that with me, I can, I can share with you just a little example of one of the things that we do. So if you want to just get comfortable in your seat and just get, close your eyes, get comfortable, and in your hand, imagine a beautiful, juicy lemon. It's just so ripe. You want to squeeze that lemon. Then you take a knife and now cut that lemon. Cut it right in half because you're going to make some fresh lemonade. Oh, the juice is splurting everywhere. It's all over. Bring that lemon now up to your nose. Put that lemon to your lips. Mmm, the juicy. It's running down your chin. And when you're finished with that lemon, if you can open your eyes and come back into the room. So who is salivating? <laughs> there was no lemon. It was just our mind. So we teach that in these workshops on how when we get discouraged, if we can change our mind a little bit or try to think of something a little bit more positive or something, an action plan that they can do that might be cheerful or bring that laughter that Toro was talking about, that's really very, very healing and it makes life a lot easier living with a health um, chronic condition. Thank you so much for coming, everyone.